I was just uh, calling because. Okay, can you please hold? GS Space Mineral. Hi, uh, my name's Liam Lynch. I'm on the planet Tresbin right now, and I did a contract with your company to collect a rock sample from here. Okay, I can't help you unless you give me the reference number on your contract. Yeah, it's uh, Z. 87L29. Uh, okay, sir, can you please hold? I'm seeing little sparky things. Is that radiation? GS Space Mineral. Hi, yes, this is Lee Lynch. Um, I, I was just wondering. Do, should I just come to your offices to... I, I'm just trying to get paid for this rock sample. Okay, have you Is, been to the offices on Space Station Alpha 3? No, I went to the office on Earth. Okay, can you please hold? Okay, you know what? Screw her. I am going to Space Station Alpha 3. And I'm going to sell this little lump of crap to them and pay for all of this nightmare. Thank you. 
That was it. That was the sound. That was the sound. you baby I mean what was that on the planet down there I mean you know how many rocks were there who did I pick yeah I picked you I can't quit you I can't quit you baby I know I know I just you know sometimes you find these rainbow connections and you know it's all done I'm done you're the one I, you yes, are I can be sarcastic. <laughs> yes. No. Oh, is that so? Okay. Well, guess what? Um, you're not even the mission anymore. So what do you think about that? You're not the mission, and uh, you know what the mission is now? To crash the ship. Now we're gonna crash. Now I'll crash the ship. That's the new mission. No. I will crash this ship. Oh no no no! No, we're doing this. We're doing this. Cause guess what? Your big ass mouth is using up all the oxygen in the ship, and so guess what? We gotta cut down on oxygen now. We gotta save it. You're gonna keep yapping like this. And guess what? You think oxygen grows on trees? We got a limited... Oh, it does kind of grow on trees, you little asshole. Ship. I really need to get off the ship. Welcome to the space station Alpha 3. We're going to the space station. Your visit is in All they have to do is scan my ship and I land. I mean, they've probably, they've already scanned it, it takes one second. Looking for entertainment? Looking for entertainment? You'll find the night guy space station half out for free. Hello, Mr. Big Head. Uh, my name is Edge. I'm kind of on edge, and I need to get off this ship. So why don't you shut up? And um, I don't fire missiles into this docking bay, bitch ass. And it hardly matters because I don't know what level the office is on. So if you want to... No, I'm not... They write everything on the walls in their galactic alphabet that they made up. So you have to buy 
their scanner to translate into your language. And I'm not, it's a scam. I'm not spending 200 bucks on a gadget that works only in this space station. It's, would you shut up? It's like, you know, let's build a giant cake out of 2,000 shopping malls and float it in space and not even give pe charge people for a directory. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. How about this? Let's go in the store over here. Always say. Ha. Uh, oh, right, the right. day. She's not coming uh, anywhere. Okay, she's not that. Are you mad? Barking mad. You... Uh, I'm sorry, love. If you want an autograph, you'll have to come after the show to the after party and wait like everyone else. No. I'm, I'm looking for the... Sorry, I'm looking for the Geospace Minerals office. Um... Well, I have heard a lot of them, but I've never heard that one, so... You want me to sign your rock or whatever that is you have over there? Bring it here, just make it quick. I don't want your autograph, I just... I'm looking for the Geospace Minerals office. You don't know who we are, do you? No, sorry. Just, uh, you know what? I'm sorry, I'll go. I didn't mean to intrude. Sorry about that. I'll give you a hint. But only the first synthetic rock group to ever go to number one. Oh, you're synthetics? Okay, that's why you're so weird looking. So you're, you're androids. <laughs> oh, awful, oh. love. What better than androids, love? What androgenoids? Androgenoids? Okay, well, I'm gonna go look for the Geospace Minerals office now. I'm really sorry that I interrupted you got girl guys. Um, I'll see you later. I'm sorry, mate. You don't know who we are. Alright, who are you? We're the Holy Roller. We're like a dream soldier. And when we take, when we take, when we take, we always take our time. The Holy Roller.
fun? I try this guy up here. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't happen to know where the Geospace Minerals office is around here? It's a crazy place. Don't speak English. Alright, well, thank. Okay, if you. If you're offering me a pretzel stick, get away from me. Put that away. I don't. can't even see that. Observation deck. Keep looking. It's a lot of things, you know. It's a lot of things, Jerry. And I mean, this is why this is why I abducted you in the first place. This is like big picture stuff that like you need to you need to get real with, dude. Trip on. Cause check it. Trip on this. No computer could calculate the enormous tree of it. Yeah, wow, man. Uh, you know? Look at that. Their universe is like a giant infinite puzzle. It's all made out of one giant piece. And that piece is made up of millions and millions and millions of puzzles that are all made of one piece. It's a total trip. I mean, seriously. That's amazing. Oh, okay, you know what? Alright, let's just trip, trip on this, trip on this. Let's just talk about, like, you know, the nature of nature, okay? Sure. You know, like, how natural is nature, you know? Like, okay, if I say nature, what, what do you think of? Uh, I don't know, like, trees and, and grass. And... Right, right. And that's a perfectly reasonable answer for it. Earthport, okay? But do check, do, just check it, because, you know, like, okay, trees and grass are cool. Yeah. But that's because they're made of molecules that are, like, of outer space. That, the cosmos, are the real nature, okay? Now, how, how natural is nature? We'll never be able to answer that question because we're too inside of it. Wow, yeah. No, I totally know what you mean. Look at trip on this. You like eggs, right? Actually, I'm allergic to of eggs. Of course you do. What? Earthling doesn't love delicious succulent eggs. But, I mean, but have you had beef eggs? No, wait a minute. Beef eggs? I know, you never did, did you? No, I never had beef eggs. <laughs> you only thought that chickens and squirrels could lay eggs, right? Yeah. Trip on this little tidbit. Cows actually lay eggs. No and, way. But they're really, really, really small, and they come out just in the with the cow's dung. And if, but if you let them hatch, they'll grow into these little white, like wiggly micro cows. Hey Baz, aren't those like maggots from flies laying eggs in the cow dung? No, and that's the kicker. They actually grow into full-size cows. But flies do lay eggs. But their poop is so small that I can't even see it, so I don't know. Man, that's incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's a trip, man. Remember how I told you about how uh, my race is a hive mind? Yeah, yeah, that you're all connected somehow? Yeah, yeah. Well, can you hang on for one second? Because I'm about to get a message from our, uh, from our emperor. I will tell you, wise man. I send you wellness from our own world. The hive is strong, the hive is wise, the hive is many. Also, trip out on this little planet. Black holes aren't even black. The color black requires light. And not even light can escape a black hole, so then what is that color then? The color of no color that is similar to the color black? Trip on that little biscuit for a while. Alright dude, I'm back. Hey man, I never even said thanks for abducting me. Cause it's good, man. Things are good now. Oh, that's cool, Darren. And you know what's really cool is that after these lessons are done, I'm totally gonna lay my eggs in you, man. Okay, I feel like I'm not the 
supposed to be down here? That's a cargo elevator. That's not like a people elevator. I feel like... I feel like I'm in a basement. Space stations don't have basements, but... Geospace Minerals. Yes. Yeah. Geospace Minerals. Yeah. Yes, sir. Please hold. Oh, fine. Yes, sir. Please hold. Yes. Hi. Uh, my name's Liam Lynch, and I uh, I called you a few weeks back, but I collected this rock sample uh, for your company, and I just wanted to sell it. Contract form. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, I went all over Tresbin, and this is by far the best rock on the planet. I mean, the second I saw this one, I knew that was it. This is the one I'm bringing back. I, I just knew you guys would like it. And, uh, you know, it's really kept me company, kind of, for the last few weeks, that is. You only brought back one rock? Yeah. Mr. Lynch, we pay by the ton. One rock isn't going to do us any good. I just, the contract said a rock sample, so I brought a rock sample. Not rock sample, rock samples, plural. Geospace Minerals, please hold. You know what, my, my printer is almost out of ink, but I tried to print this anyways. I didn't see the S there, it's just, yeah, okay. Well, I mean, what could I get from the, for this one, though? 30 cents? I spent $60,000 just in fuel to get to Tresbin. Wait a second, did you say Tresbin? Yes. You know your contract was to go to Trez Din, not Trez Bin. Really? Oh, yeah. Um, you know what? Uh, truth be told, I'm dyslexic. And sometimes I flip my D's and my B's. And uh, I just, uh, well, I mean, how, how much is a rock from Trez Din worth? You actually went to Trez Bin. Yeah. Can you hold on one second? Hello, Dr. Stout. Yes, hi, this is Stacy over at Geospace Minerals. Hi, yeah, I have a man here, a uh, uh, Mr. Lynch. He apparently brought back a sample from Trez Bin. Yes. No, there's just one of him, but I thought you should know. Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Thank you. What? What was that call about then? Dr. Stout will be here shortly. What's going on? I don't need to see a doctor. Oh, here he is now. Excuse me, uh, uh, Mr. Lynch? Yeah. Uh, Dr. Stout, uh, I need you to- Yeah, look, I, I realize that like there is a mix-up with the Tresden and Tresbin, everything, but if you want this rock sample, you can have it. I really don't care. I'm really not going to touch that. Is there something that I should know? I'm afraid there's a lot you should know. I need you to come with me at once. We need to get you into the simulator as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, now. I need you to take this and please enter this room. Okay. Are you coming here too, or...? No, no, no. I'm going to be in the control room. Okay. Okay. Um, hello? Mr. Lynch, can you hear me? 
Can you hear me, Mr. Lynch? Yeah, what? What's going on here? And what is this? This simulator can project 3D environments around you. Now, firstly, tell me if this was the planet you visited. Tresdin, the planet you were supposed to have gone to for rock samples. You needed rock samples from here? Yes, Tresdin is inhabited by a race of Amazon strippers, but all they do is just strip naked all day long. Geologists believe that their planet actually contains several types of precious ores. What? Pre precious ores or precious whores? Okay, how about this one? Yeah, this is it. The flowing stuff and the barren landscape. And, uh... This is Tresbin. Oh no, this... This can't be happening again. What? It, it's radiation, isn't it? I'm, I bet this rock... I'm totally radioactive right now, aren't I? No, there's no radiation. It's... It's even got a breathable atmosphere. It's, it, it's, it's something far worse. What? Okay, you're really freaking me out. I headed a project that sent a robotic probe to Tresbin for soil samples. It was a success. The probe came back with the sample intact. But then a, a few days later, the probe came back again. And a few days after that, the same probe returned yet again. Versions of the probe have been returning back here for 12 years now, each one slightly different. We have a whole docking bay for them. Okay, you are really freaking me out. Tresbin is like a fixed point. It remains unchanged, every atom in the same point, through all its alternate realities. Okay, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm going to explain. Do you know anything about chaos theory? Um... I know what those two words mean. All right then, forget that. Look, um, any new variable that's introduced on Tresbian can affect one of the planet's alternate realities. I have no idea what you're talking about. What does that even mean? Tresbian appears to be one planet, but it actually consists of overlapping, looping, identical versions of itself that bleed alternate worlds together. Okay, wait. So when I picked up this rock, I might have picked up a version of its alternate reality? Yes, you could pick up that same stone on Tresbin infinite times, and each version would be from a different alternate reality. I made the same mistake with my robotic rover. What am I supposed to do about that? I can't... I can't do anything about that. The real you from this reality is probably still down on that planet, trapped in a loop of possibilities. When you picked up that rock, you splintered away from your reality and instantly became a part of that rock's alternate reality. And if we don't stop this, another version of yourself will probably arrive here tomorrow. And one might crash here on the way, one might arrive wearing a, a striped shirt, one might even, God forbid, uh, arrive speaking French. It will never end. And the last version of my probe that came back had a built-in MP3 player filled with Depeche Mode songs. Well, great. But why am I holding this? What What is this? It's something I've invented, and you may be the only one that can deliver it to Tresbin for me. It's a chaos bomb. Um, it looks like an orange. Well, it's not. The moment I activated its random variable chip, it took that form. Okay, well, first of all, there's no way in hell I'm going back to Tresbin, because I don't want to keep making weird stuff happen. You must take this chaos bomb to Tresbin. Once activated, create extreme random variables in all its planes of existence. If my theory is correct, this bomb will end Tresbin's absolute consistency through all the alternate realities. Okay, so if I detonate this, it's going to make reality super random? Hopefully. If the device works as planned. Good luck. Looks like we're going back to Tresbin. Where's this way? No radiation, but it's freezing. Uh oh, there it is.
in this basement Cause I need room to swing my arms around There's 30 degrees of separation between me and the Hindu god of fire Well everybody likes inspiration That's why I invented the golden smooch Please somebody hammer a tiny nail Into the head of a much bigger nail Salad Eight, seven feet of Taffy Man That's why the people call me Taffy Dan Well nobody likes catching colds But everybody likes catching frisbees Oh yellow Let's turn a porcupine into a sprinkler When an orchard burns down it smells like apple pie And speaking of naked if you shave a hamster It's nipple spell help if you read them like braille Surprise for all y'all! All the way from the ninth dimension, the ghost of egg and toast! Thank you, thank you! And in this corner, weighing in at 14 points, Helvetica Italic H! And in this corner, Weighing in at weighing stations across the country, Edgar Allan Poe's thumb! And in this corner, Edgar Allan Poe himself! I've never met an onion that I haven't met. I've never got a pumpkin that I did not get I've never punched a pigeon for the heck of it Though I have tried, I've been denied There's a spider in the road but he won't let on the sun. Wait a second, I'm, I'm still in the thing? I didn't, I didn't even do any of that? I'm sorry, but I had to conduct a full simulation to test that the bomb would work. I couldn't risk it creating random variables throughout the universe. Great! So I get to do that all over again. Well, did it work? Um... Yeah.